NASCAR fans. So last we left the budget cart, uh, I told you guys that the reverse gearbox stole all of the power from it. Well, it didn't, and I apologize for that greatly. I apologize to Blast LED. Uh, this gearbox has turned out to actually be pretty amazing. Uh, the gearing's a little short, but we can re-gear it. So I'm not super worried about that. Right now, this maxes out at 42 miles an hour with the stock red line of the Predator 459. So there's two reasons for this video. One is to tell you that the gearbox is awesome. Uh, the second reason is obvious now. I built a jump. And we're gonna do some jumping with the budget cart with the number eight, the number 27, the number five, everything, because I love jumping. So let's get going. Like a big jump? Yeah, if, if, even on the first level, it felt really good. <laughs> it's not a very big jump. No, but it's fun. It's super it fun. Have to be a really big jump to be fun. That's right. I'm glad you understand that. So I know what you're thinking and yeah, it, it does look a little small and it is at the lowest setting about how I designed it. That lowest setting is anywhere from 15 to 17 inches off the ground. Uh, you can probably see we ended up putting a little lip on it. That's because it was so smooth and we were having so much fun and the kids were comfortable with it. The reason I built it low was because everybody was going to jump on it and I wanted it accessible to everybody. Too easy. Now there's a couple things, uh, you know, the camera adds 10 pounds. Well, the camera also steals about 10 miles an hour and also makes your jumps look small. The idea of this wasn't to go as big as possible, so I'm breaking all my stuff. The idea of this is to make it more interesting, to make it more fun, to make a jump where you're landing on flat ground. You can jump a whole lot bigger if you have a landing jump but I don't. 
and it's portable. So let's lay down some real numbers. The height right now is 17 inches at the lip. I'm guessing the angle is around eight and a half to nine degrees slope up. Jumping distances. Now the lowest setting of it was probably about 15 inches off the lip. So the shortest jump was about 14 feet, 13 feet. And I got that about right here. Now the longest jump Uh, I got the longest jump about right in this area. It looks like there might be one out here, but that could be just a residual bounce. That's 30 feet. We're jumping 30 feet. And if you don't think that's right, we're still jumping 25 feet off of a simple small jump. Any more or any bigger is probably going to equal some damage. And I'd rather spend my summers driving these than fixing them. So we had a ton of fun. We jumped it probably at least a hundred times between all the carts and we didn't break anything. Everything is still well intact. And another thing you guys get confused on is that I used a race regulation to build them, but I'm building incredibly fun machines. That is my top priority. Fun, easy, accessible, and inexpensive. Now I could put five or $10,000 of suspension on these things and it would eat that up. The suspension I use is around 400 bucks. They're reused ATV parts. So when it's going off the jump, it's nosing over, but that's actually data that we can use. How I design the carts is that the front wheels are just at that front lip and there's a little bit of a rake on it. So if and when, because that's the tendency is of cars is to nose over, you're landing with your rake flat, making your suspension work at its finest. And the nose isn't digging in. That was all planned out. So we're showing that even though we're using inexpensive parts, even though these are home built machines, they can handle it and they can handle it well. Even though it was nosing over, it was still incredibly smooth. Everybody jumped in, nobody was sore the next day. You can't do that in a Yurf dog. I don't think you could jump three feet and not be sore if you were in a Yurf dog. That budget cart, as it sits, is under $3,000 to build, which is a huge success, especially with everything we're throwing at it, and it just takes it and wants more. It's huge. Uh, the faster carts, 6,000, that's not very much money for something that goes 100 miles an hour and is able to do jumps off a wooden engineer jump onto flat ground smoothly. That's insane. So I get it. All the comments I get about it could be better this, that could be better that. Of course it can. It can all be better. But what's it gonna cost? What's it gonna cost? This is highly approachable and all the guys building these are highly satisfied with the work they put in, uh, the overall cost of the machine. Guys like us, guys like me, just family guys, never thought we could have anything like this. This is insane. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, the jumps can be incorporated a lot more. And now that the budget cart is at 100%, I need to start taking it out. I need to start taking it places. Uh, definitely gonna go to Busco. That's one of my favorite events. And maybe a trail ride here and there. So stay tuned, we're, we're gonna keep doing this. See ya.